What's new in Charlie's? What's new in Charlie's? Still on name. Hi, welcome back to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, tonight we're going to be trying one of my favorites. The Whistle Pig Boss Hog Edition is out for this year. So it is uh, volume 8. So there's been uh, a different version come out for the last 8 years, I'm guessing. And uh, everyone's got a little different nuance to it, and, but they've all been fantastic. They all have uh, a lot of flavor, a lot of things going on. So um, the one this year is called Lapu Lapu. And uh, my good friend, Mr. Don Williams, maybe tell us a little bit about that. What's that mean, Don? Well, Lapu Lapu was a, a Philippine warrior. And he goes down in Philippine history as holding off the Spanish Armada. Yeah. And so basically... You, you know we have a Philippine warrior here, right? You do. Yeah. Paulo. Paulo's our Philippine warrior. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead. Sorry. No problem, man. So basically, uh, this is aged in uh, Philippine rum cast, and that is the Philippine connection. So uh, basically, this is going to be different than any other boss hog. And every time Whistle Pig does something different, it's always unique. Oh yeah, yeah, it's great. So, uh, so Whistle Pig's out of Vermont. Out of Vermont. Small farm, and you know, got their start using blended Canadian whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Um, but basically, this is their flagship. Oh yeah, this the is the big dog. Yeah. They're in, they're in demand, and if you even see one, they don't last very long. No, no. Uh, I only have one, and uh, so. It's, going to open the box here. The packaging is phenomenal on this. I mean, the cost is pretty significant, um, and, and you kind of get your money's worth here with this stuff. So, it, we're live here at Charlie's, if you can't tell that from the video. So, um, so this is the bottle. It comes with a pewter stopper. Um, it is solid as a rock. I'm going to pull it out here. You can feel that, Don. That thing weighs a it's, uh, yeah. And, and the, the, the pig on the topper now, it looks like a Philippine warrior. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, Paula wears that for brunch most Sundays, so, yeah. So, uh, they, yeah. so they keep it consistent, and my understanding is they source all these pewter tops from a local company in Vermont. Yeah, they're right. Made, That's what I heard. That, that they're, they're all made local. They're, they're big on local, big on farm to table, big on farm stuff. So, yeah, right. very cool. So I'm going to pour this out here. Um, now, some of you could, at home are probably going to notice this bottle is open. It is. So, this is our second attempt at this because uh, Don's iPhone updated in the middle of the last video. So, we usually like to crack a new bottle, and that's kind of our rule here. And I don't want anyone calling this out in the comments that the bottle was already open. But, uh, we only got one, so I didn't have a choice. So, we're going to try it again. So, here we go. Technology. You Technology. Got to love it, man. Gotta love it. Yeah. Put the pig back before anything happens to him here. All right, let's see what we got done. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Lots of flavor, man. Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. And wow. it, as you would expect with, you know, rum cask, you get a lot of citrus. You get a lot of coconut. You yep. get a lot of... You get a lot of that uh, uh, tropical... Fruit right out of it, yeah. Wow, that's good. So, 104.8 proof. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's, it's got a little, little fil Filipino hug. Little, but it's like getting too close to Apollo. The interest, the, the interesting thing is, you get a Filipino is, hug too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is uh, the burns on the front end? Yeah, it's pretty mild on the back. Yeah, side. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is really interesting. That's great. Um, but a lot of flavor, very complex. A lot of different things going on there. You know, sometimes it's a good thing when you got to do a second take. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of get a little more out of it this time than last time. Yeah, wow. I mean, they excuse to drink good bourbon twice, right? Right. Yeah. I'm not even sure the phone messed up. I think he just wanted to have another one. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, but I'm sticking with the phone mess up. I'm going to go with the phone mess up. All right, right, gotcha. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, um, this is one of those sought after bourbons or whiskeys. Yeah. And quite frankly, uh, if you want to try it or if you tried some of the other boss hogs, you're going to want to try this one because it's a total different flavor profile. Oh, they're all different. Yeah, absolutely. This is different than anyone I've ever had before. But the, the, the 
the thread that runs between all of them, very complex, lots of flavor, a lot of things going on, and this one fits right into there. Yeah. Yeah. And they're always pushing the envelope, and yep. uh, this one, again, is a different profile than they've done before, and it's very interesting. It is very tropical. Yeah, yeah. And cheers, man. I would, uh, I'd stop by Charles and have one of these, wouldn't you? Well, I've already had a couple, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah, and when you're here, you ask Paula what the heck this means. Because it means something to Paula, but we'll let you figure that out. But thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Charlie.